a variety of different systems that can be used for sprouting all have the same general concept of providing a structure for the seeds and allowing aeration and drainage. Our field producer, Laura Payne, you've been experimenting with these different systems. So let's go through some of the pros and cons, okay. starting with the old fashioned uh, jar with cheesecloth. Okay, Kim, um, now this method, it, it worked just fine. Okay. With the jar and the uh, cheesecloth, you know, these materials are readily available for you. And um, I did find that using the cheesecloth, though, you do want to trim any excess because it does hold that water, it creates like a wick, and you're holding on to this and trying to shake your jar, and then you've got water splattering everywhere. But you found those relatively easy to drain? Right. Okay. Right. Very, very easy to drain. Um, if you don't want this ring on yeah, here that you get from, yeah, from using the jar lid, then you could just use uh, a rubber band around this. Mm -hmm. But that also makes it a little bit harder to uh, keep in place when you're trying to right. drain vigorously, get that water out. Right. So building on that traditional system, we have just these mesh lids that are available commercially. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose you can make your own as yeah. well if oh, you're yeah. ambitious. And they have different sized openings. Mm -hmm. Did this work well for you? I really like this method mm -hmm. because this method I could get very vigorous when I was shaking the jar and get a lot of that moisture out. Um, with this method, I also tip them on their side to get some of that extra moisture out before I just left them on their side to drain. And the jars, of course, the mesh comes with different size openings so mm -hmm. you can increase that as the sprouts grow, helps right. get some of those holes out. Right. right. Let's move these aside and bring in uh, another method. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Um, mm -hmm. the, this is called the BioSet and it works with siphoning action. Yes, and I really like this method. Maybe one of the reasons was because it was so easy. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. you just, you put it on your counter, you pour the water in. Let's go ahead and do that. And there's little openings in each dish, each mm -hmm. tray has that, and uh, you can get up to three trays right. in the system. So I've poured the water in, what happens now? So now the water just drips through here into this next tray. Mm -hmm. When that starts filling up, then it drips into the next tray, and then it collects down here at the bottom. Um, this method, I thought, really drained the water well because you've got that gravity pulling the water down mm -hmm. uh, constantly. So unlike with the jars, they're sitting on their side so they can sit in some of that water on the side. But this, it just pulled that water down to the bottom. One complaint I've heard about it is for really small seeds, they fall mm -hmm. into the grooves in that tray and mm -hmm. then they sit in a little bit of water. So yeah. certainly very good for the large seeds right. that we're using. So just be very selective on the seed that you're using in this container. Okay. The next one is the Easy Sprouter. Um, is it easy? Uh, <laughs> well, all of these methods were really easy. This for me wasn't quite as easy though, and I'm, I'm thinking maybe because my hands are smaller. So this, to get the water out, you know, they recommend that you, you hold it and you're shaking it, mm -hmm. and it just was not comfortable for me. Okay. Um, and um, then any excess water would set um, but when you're when you're doing the sprouting with this, you do want to make sure that you set this up. Okay, it's kind of a two-piece system. The mm -hmm. outer collector has no holes in the bottom to right. collect the water. This one has ventilation in the bottom, mm -hmm. allows for drainage, and if you look inside, there's different ridges. So right. when we're so, you can actually soak, soak in this, it. right? Right. By setting it down. Right. And then when you're sprouting, you set it up. Mm -hmm. and there's also a small lid. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of works the same method here. You know, the gravity is pulling the water down, but this one, they do recommend that you do the shaking and the, the spinning. And like I said, it was just... A little challenging for yeah, you. Yeah, for me it Good was. for big hands. Yes, yes. <laughs> the last system's a little bit different than anything we've looked at. Mm -hmm. um, this is a tray system called the Sprout Master. Um, and we've used them... We have alfalfa and some grains. Mm -hmm. And um, so the system comes with the trays uh, and um, the, the containers. And mm -hmm. so the tray either acts as a base, right? Right. That we stack on. And then you have some for lids. Right. We also have dividers so you can grow more than one crop uh -huh. inside of here. What did you think about this system? Um, I like this system as well. It was, it was kind of like the other mm -hmm. system where you put the water in and it drains down. 
Um, I found this one was easy to get the holes. Uh, you kind of separate it out and then you could rinse from, put your lid on and rinse from the back side to get your holes. Oh, to just pour mm -hmm. them out. Okay. So I really like this method, especially if, you know, you're not growing a whole lot of sprouts mm -hmm. and you can do different, two different ones in one tray. I like this and the bios that are stackable. They don't take right. up a lot of space. You right. kind of sit it on the counter. Right. You can um, keep them covered up, keep your sprouts from greening up, you know, uh, when you're sprouting them and then uncover them and let them green up when you're ready. That's true. Um, and this does come with a larger method, so if you want a lot of sprouts, you can you can purchase the larger right. size. But for us, this seemed to be just fine. Yep, I enjoyed it. All it was right. fun. Well, thanks for experimenting and sure. sharing these tips with us. Anytime.